You may be in that proverbial rut. You may be in that perpetual dark cloud. You may be in that perpetual nothing's ever quite good enough, that negative mindset that seems to, to, to bring a fog to everything that we see and do. But some of us need to, by the grace of God and the power of God, be wor speak words of encouragement. Look in verse 13 with me. He said, but we should always give thanks to God for you. Praise be to God that Paul was a man that expressed gratitude to God for people. And he lets them know that he's thankful to God for them. He doesn't just thank God for them. That's great. But he says, I thank God for you. I praise God for you. He could have done it and not ever mentioned it to them, and probably he did do it and sometimes didn't mention it to them, but, but he lets them know, I'm grateful to God for you. That must have been like a shot in the arm to these struggling saints. The great apostle Paul, the missionary theologian, he's grateful to God for us. And he says, brothers and sisters, they are a part of God's family. He lets them know that that you are a part of a family, God's family. When we think about church, we think about going to church, uh, but we know better than that in our right minds. The church is a building. We go to the building, but we are the church. Now, most of the time, we know what we mean when we say that. The, the world just thinks that when we say church, we're thinking about the building. Uh, but the church is the family of God, is the people of God. It's where God's people are related to one another through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's where God is our Father, Christ is our elder brother. That must have been very encouraging to them. You may feel absolutely and completely alone and isolated in Thessalonica, but I want you to know you're part of a family. You're part of an eternal family. You're part of a family with brothers and sisters, and you're a part of a family with God as your father sitting on heaven's throne. 